So I'm banging it out, Tim. Hitting all your hitting all your goals. That's awesome. Did I talk really fast just now? I feel like I talked really fast. No, no. You 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 covered an, an unbelievable amount of ground actually. I, I ran to get a piece of paper to take notes. Um because there's a lot of things that we might not be able to cover just this particular uh blog, but there's some stuff that I'd like to ask more questions about in the future, you know, like like you're you're one of the most um you're the most efficient out of us, I would say, right? So and and you've and some of the things that you've done have just made some decisions um about how you want to go about doing your stuff. So for example, right? Like um you know, when you did your your art book, one of the things you did was you got like somebody to edit, you know, and to uh, go over your design, and then kind of you had another person, you know, uh, check your design and and uh, and tighten up some things for you. You know, often I think maybe my artistic ego gets in the way, and I just have to do everything, and then uh, and then it takes me five times as long. And then I don't get the feedback from somebody else, you know, unless I, you know, showing you guys probably like one week before it's due. Right. Um, but it seems like you um, have engaged in that earlier. And that's just really such a wise way to work. You know, the same thing, like if you don't really have time to do your website, you're like, hey, I'll call somebody to do my website for me. Mm -hmm. And that's that's brilliant. Like, why well, I probably should do that, you know, and, and maybe because I think I have a problem with critical distance, right? Like I'm so close to my work and what it is that I'm trying to do um, that it takes me five times long because I just, for whatever reason, I can't get out of my own, my own way when it terms when it comes to time to do that. Um, uh, also, this kind of stuff with Gumroad, that's, that, you just made a choice and you went and did it. There's this thing about doing freelance, but not just freelance, but freelance with family. I think that's worth a conversation at some point like how do you how do you approach that how do you approach money like you know and you know i'm not i'm not asking you to give me all the details of that but <clears throat> most people who are doing freelance they'll probably know somebody close a friend or a friend of the family or a family member that's interesting so those are just things that I, i'm just writing down like boy these are these are worthwhile points to discuss at some point you know Sure, I will say, Dwight, you got some great layouts, like when you do the Alpha Omega book. So it's about your layouts. I, I want to sweat that. I think you do great stuff. Thank you. Know, as website stuff, I don't... I don't know if um, where you're at with that, but yeah, if you bring someone else on, or even if that didn't work for me, if Jay was busy, I probably would did um, Squarespace because the way they make it sounds like drag and drop. Have you have you tried that or Wix? Like like what what's the best uh, for you two? Like John, you you also got somebody else to do your uh, website. Your free your website's just freaking just gorgeous. It's yeah. thank you, it's thank you. What did you do with your with your website in terms of that designing, what made you decide to get somebody to do that? Yeah. Um, so when I was getting ready for Inktober, a big part of Inktober is sharing your art with the world. And it's something that I've really struggled with doing over the years because it's like, you know, you don't want to show it until it's ready because, you, you know, nobody wants to expose the flaws and stuff. And I'm, you know, I feel like, well, if it's not gonna, if my book's not ready, it's not done, I don't show it. And like, and to some extent, I feel that way in my online representation altogether. And so for me, when I did Inktober last year, it was like, all right, this is a step where I'm going to be um, sharing my stuff to the world. So it's really about being outwardly focused. And part of that, sharing it to Instagram, I needed to make an Instagram thing. And I was like, well, it'd be great if I could if people wanted to get connected with what I'm doing and also have a website. So that's when I was like, all right. I've, I've had websites in the past that just weren't, weren't very professional and I'm not a website designer. I haven't really done that in the past, but like you, Dwight, you know, I feel like, well, maybe I, should, I need to be doing like every aspect of this myself, but I just don't have the time to, I mean, if I have any creative energy, I want it to go towards my book. So uh, I reached out to um, a guy that we actually work with Nick Bolchek, who's done a number of websites, um, 
professionally and he's got a system down and he's got some uh, you know website structure that he really likes to use and you know he was really excited that i was starting to take some steps into sharing it with the rest of the world so um so nick bot is his uh kind of his tagline you can kind of see it on my website um and I wish I could tell you the ins and the outs on how how we did that. I mean, I really trusted his creative eye. He's a phenomenal artist, and he had some some great ideas. And you can see his work. Obviously, you go to that uh, the link that's down in the description below. Um, but yeah, that was that was basically it. And um, so I think it's good to collaborate with other artists who have you know skills in those areas. Yeah. Because we really don't have all the time of the day. I mean, that's one of the things we work day jobs and, you know, we have families and, and other things happen and we don't always have the time to do that. It's kind of like yeah. this group, you know, like we all bring something different to the table. Like that's why, you know, we keep bringing each other, like asking each other for critiques and stuff because we all have strengths and weak not weaknesses, but you know what I mean, like strengths and not yeah. so strong. Stuff we want to work on, stuff we want to... Shark. I don't have any weaknesses. <laughs> John Boeing is flawless. Tell him the Thor hat. <laughs> Whatever, I forgot the name of it. But... Yeah. So I think that's part of be being outwardly focused to an audience like what we're doing with this video. Uh, for me, it's kind of uh, one of the hangups for me is... Um, I feel like I don't really have to, like a product to offer because I've like, all right, if I'm going to market my book, I feel like I need to finish that book first. So I've always hesitated, like, do I want to get a website? Do I want to share it? But it got to the point where it's like, I need to actually share even this process and the struggle with it because, uh, because I am thinking about, I do feel like my, the story that I want to tell and the artwork that I want to share, I really do want to give that to the world. I want people to see that. I think every artist does to some extent. I mean, nobody really works in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so I think these are the tools, you know, like starting a YouTube page, starting Instagram website, Facebook account. I mean, we live in this amazing world where we're connected through the net and it's like, why wouldn't we use this, this blessing to, to reach people? I mean, even with uh, Instagram and, and doing Inktober, I had people from around the world and, Poland and France that were like saying like, Hey, this is great. And like, Whoa, I had no idea. So yeah. well, that's a good segue to talk about some of the things that you've been working on Dwight. Yeah. How, how have your goals been? Have you had any successes, any roadblocks? What's going on? Yeah. So all my, um, my successes have really just been in structural stuff. I've been setting up things. I, I finally came to a point where I figured out my high speed Waffle Man story, my hero's um, motivation, really the the climax of the story where my villain and my hero kind of clash and what the point of the entire story is about. There's a resolve that has come with that. And, and that's been extremely satisfying and stuff. So I, um, I pitched that to Tim uh, a couple weeks back and it seemed like that that it, it hit the mark so i'm really excited about that uh, i've been drawing and doing some sketching of that um of, of and redesign of some of my characters i've been kind of planning out my my website but i i haven't made any concrete decisions about what i wanted to do just yet um, i've had a couple people um want me to send them my art book which has been really humbling and good. So I'm, I'm kind of setting that up. But in terms of my goals, you know, I haven't uh, made the progress that I wanted to make. Um, I mean, some of that has been, and, and call them excuses or whatever, but, um, you know, the weather here has been just unbelievable the last two weeks, you know, and, um, and I started going to the gym <laughs> nice. I, I, I started a gym membership at uh, Planet Fitness and stuff, and I have a trainer. And the, the Friday that I went, my trainer whooped my tail so bad. <laughs> and I was kind of out of commission for literally five days. Like my um, 
my range. I was doing all bicep stuff. My range of movement was like this. Like oh, I, man. I, I couldn't stretch my arms all the way out, and I couldn't bring them up like this, and I couldn't sleep for almost. It was brutal. So, um, <laughs> and so that been kind of difficult. And of course, it snowed and everything. I had to shovel, but some of that time, you know, it was it was just crazy. So you when messed I, up biceps. You messed up everything, right? <laughs> Then last week I worked about sixty-eight hours at at work. I worked, you know. So when I came home, I go mm. come, wake up and come right back, and you know, and my kids, um, you know, they'll be staying with me in the summer, uh, or should I say, in the fall. So um, and, and I'm looking for schools for them. So I've been uh, doing open house. I went to one today. I've been going to open houses to try to find a proper place for them. So um and i think i found some so you know and you know and so my problem has always been balance like i want to i i generally leave myself for last i usually do everything for everybody else and then whatever i have left you know i try to give to myself and if i don't have anything left then i don't then it doesn't really get done the way that i want to so i've been kind of um honestly i kind of was angry with myself because I didn't achieve some of the things I wanted to. I would love, love to come to this video and tell you I achieved all of my goals, but I didn't. So um, I made some progress, but not the progress I intended. So, and that's just, once again, full disclosure, that's really what, that's really what happened. Yeah. And that's the, that's the beauty of doing these, these videos that like, share the struggles and stuff. I mean, that's, that's the thing, like life comes at you and, you know, yeah, there's going to be excuses and they're probably good excuses, you know? So how do you, uh, how do you power through that? I think keeping the ball rolling in some level is, is good. Cause you're like, all right, I'm not just stagnant. I'm not just moving backwards. Like it may be, it may be moving slowly, but it's still moving, you know? Yeah. 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 Definitely. So that's cool, man. I'm excited yeah. about uh, high speed waffle man too. But anyway, what were you gonna say, Tim? Uh, I was just gonna say, like, kind of like um, we were talking a little bit before the chat, and, and I know uh, it's just you have like all good reasons why you couldn't hit it. You know what I mean? And I, I wouldn't like don't let that stop you this month coming up. Yeah, you know? absolutely. That's like the main goal is just keep like John said the ball rolling. Yeah. One of the things I did kind of run into is I've been trying to find ways to operate as a business, as an artist. And I've kind of just started making some decisions. I wanted to open a business account, you know, and there was that whole LLC thing that we had been talking a little bit about. And, uh, you know, I, 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 there's a certain amount of money that I kind of need to have in my bank account before I can start doing an LLC, you know, and finding out kind of um, trying to get an EIN versus, you know, and all of that kind of stuff. I, I just kind of found out if you're operating at a, as a sole proprietorship, as an individual artist um, that doesn't have any employees, and then it doesn't make sense for me to have an employer identification number. Taxes won't, you know, um, the IRS won't look at you in that manner. So at the moment, I'm flirting with the idea of using just my PayPal account right now for my business account just for for the moment you know to keep my finances my personal finances separate from my regular bank account and then so and and paypal is kind of cool that i don't know if you've noticed this john but um you can kind of um add kind of a name designation to your paypal account so if you're if someone wants to pay you i did a freelance job and got paid for it recently you know i was able to change my paypal name to you know DW2 Art Productions, and then they could just kind of send that direct to me through that, which is, it just felt more professional than it just being sent to my regular email address. It was like, it's a, it's a designated business name. And I'm like, wow, this is kind of cool. I don't even have to have like a, a an account just yet. This, this is an account. So for the time being, that solves, or at least is a, um, it fills the spot as a solution for me for the time being until I can kind of uh, do more numbers. I'm, if, I'm, if I don't do $250 worth of business this year, 
I think PayPal would be fine, you know. But if I'm doing more than that, I think it'd be better to um, to operate at a on a higher level with an account. So, so th- to me, that decision was kind of significant, you know. Um, so yeah, so that's that's another thing that kind of happened. Um, I've been studying like these. Another thing on my list is kind of working on like these mini comics and stuff. So I, I got like some reference for that, and that, you know. Um, so I, I've laid out kind of what I want to do and how I want to do it. And very similar to you guys, it's kind of like, how do I tell my story? I watched this cool video that kind of said, you know, um, we look at the world a little bit too much in black and white. Like it's either failure or a hundred percent success. And the truth is things are more gray. Like there's varying levels of success. And even if things don't go perfect, the first time you do it, you, you learn something. So just get started, do it. You know, yeah. instead of being so focused on the perfection and then you can revise it. You don't have to, you know, what's so wrong? What's so bad about it not being exactly right, you know, the first time. So so that's something that I'm um, I'm just embracing now. Like, OK, here we go. Yeah. Let's see yep. where it goes. Kind of like the video. <laughs> what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. I think that's a good attitude. Just gain it. Gain is something done knowing that the next one's going to be better, you know. So that wraps up my section of the accountability part. This is where I that's where I am right now. What do I look uh, forward to your uh, mini comics? I love yeah, that. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, me too. I love that idea so much. Yes. Okay.